I know that was just a few weeks ago there in Davos. You have a clearer sense yet? Are you ready to tell us uh, your, uh, what, what you'll do with Obamacare at this point? No, not yet, Bill. Actually, um, the enrollment grows every day. We have more members then, now than we did then, almost 40,000 more paid members. And so for us, we know the questions that need to be answered. We know the data we need to answer those questions. And until we fill in those blanks, we're going to be hard-pressed to make any decision. But we have a process in place to get there by May 15th. Mark, I know you've been in touch with the guys working on this in Washington, expressing concerns along the way. Did you hear from them after making those remarks? Um, yeah, they, they called to see, you know, what it would take for us to stay in. And I said, Here, here's the information we need. And we need to get the back-end accounting systems working properly. We need to understand where we're headed with a number of programs like, you know, any willing provider. Are we going to require to have a larger network than the ones we have today? Secondly, you know, are we going to require to have people keep what they have for another year or more? All of those questions need to be answered in anticipation of understanding the data we need to know in order to price products properly for 2015. Two quick questions on that. Did you, do you sense that they're making that kind of progress that you're hoping for? And even if you do opt out, that's not forever, is it? When could you come back? Well, it's not an opt-out totally either, Bill. And so I think the way we need to think about this is we're in a number of markets. And in all of those markets, we need to make the decision market by market based on the underlying dynamics of that market, the level of competition, and whether or not we can get an adequate return on capital. So we have a ways to go yet before we can make all those decisions. So it's not going to be an all or nothing decision this year anyway. And we may join some markets. Okay. Are you seeing progress? We are seeing progress. Okay. Um, every day we make a little more progress and we see a little more growth. Mark, where, where do you think this is all heading? Because we're in a midterm election year. There are still members of the GOP in particular who would like to see this law completely rewritten. Uh, while on the other side, you've got people on the Democratic side running and, and saying perhaps that we haven't gone far enough. We need a single payer system. Do you, do you feel as though Obamacare itself do you have confidence in the way that this program exists today and will exist for the next couple of years? Well, I think, Kelly, if you take a look at a bill like Medicare, every year it gets tweaked or changed. So to expect that Obamacare hasn't been changed already and that the Affordable Care Act won't change in the future is probably um, not realistic. So I would say that we do expect changes and we do need to improve the bill. It is the law of the land. And it needs to get much better than it is now, but so has every other major program, entitlement program like this one has and been the, touched in the past. Part of the reason I ask, because is it to some extent, are, is, are, is what you're saying to the administration, we may have to raise rates by double digits. And if you don't like that or if states try to push back on us, then we're going to pull out because that's kind of how this sounds. Well, I think in the end analysis, pulling out is always the last resort. Uh, we don't like to do that because we disenfranchise customers and we disappoint customers so we always look at that as the last resort but that is a an option that we will pursue if we need to if the program doesn't settle down if we can't get a good handle on the data and the less data we have the more risk premium we need to put into our products and that means the prices are higher